I have something I need to say, and it's really with re a rather heavy heart that I bring this forward. <coughs> I am glad that the mayor is here tonight because it's been brought back to me that the mayor of our city is referring to people or telling people in our community that I am, quote, Eric Hewitt in drag. I am a strong woman and I can accept criticism, but I will not accept misogyny, whether it's from a random person on the street or the mayor of Michigan's capital city. A man in drag, really that's who you think I am? Recently, the Speaker of the Michigan House banned two female legislators from speaking on the House floor. Women spoke out and condemned that sexist action. Apparently, our mayor did not get the hint. The mayor should be a role model for our children across Lansing. He should approach his job and his interactions with class. Instead, he is calling a female council member a man in drag. This is unacceptable. I have a daughter. I have three granddaughters. I want a Lansing where they can be leaders if they so choose. A Lansing where they can express their opinion without being told they are acting like a man in drag. I want to look them in the eye and tell them it's possible to have equal rights, be taken seriously, and to be treated with dignity and respect. I want this for my daughter, my granddaughters, the mayor's daughters, and all females in Lansing. The mayor's latest actions have made it crystal clear that the day of equal treatment for women has not yet come to Lansing. Further, I find the term in drag being used as a derogatory term in an attempt to de denigrate me to not be in keeping with Lansing was wanting to be a city that embraces all individuals, including the LBGT community. In fact, I'm afraid this may breach very closely to being a violation of our human rights ordinance. I am asking the mayor to think before he speaks to adhere to our agreement, to not make fun of, call names, or yell at one another. I will have you know, when I vote, it has nothing to do with Verge Bernero. I neither vote for his issues or against. I research them, I do my homework, and I vote in my best conscience in what I believe is the best for Ward 1 and the city at large. I am a woman elected to do a job, and I am working hard to do it to the best of my ability, and I am asking that further comments of this type cease immediately. Thank you. Councilmember Boyd and then Mayor.